Hi, welcome to Electrical Info YouTube channel. Subscribe our channel and share. Today we learn about PLC Block Diagram Programmable Logic Controller. Here a typical block diagram of PLC is given below. From the below block diagram you can understand the total concept and working procedure of programmable logic controller. Main parts of PLC. As you see in the above figure, PLC has main three parts, 1. CPU or central processing unit. 2. Input module and output module. 3. Programming device. Generally, microcontroller or microprocessor is used in programmable logic controller and they are programmed by an external computer. After installing the appropriate program, PLC works. PLC working procedure. Now, let's discuss each block of the programmable logic control circuits which will help you to understand the working principle of PLC CPU, central processing unit. It is the main part of the PLC. It processes all the instructions required for working of the circuit. First, we store the program or instruction in memory. In the operation time, the CPU takes the commands from the input module and then process and ultimately gives the output to the output module. Memory. It is a storage device which stores all data, programs, and instructions. Programming device. It is the device where the program or instruction is written and then using this device the program or instruction is stored to the PLC memory. The programming device may be a computer, laptop, etc. input and output module. The CPU or microprocessor can work with 5 volts DC supply and it can deliver very small output current. But the input devices or sensor may not work with the same voltage that is 5 volts DC. So to interface real-world input devices and sensors with the microprocessor, the input module is used. Here the input module always gives 5 volts DC input signal to the CPU. Another important point is that the microprocessor can work with only the digital signal but all the input devices or sensor may not produce a digital signal. In fact, most of the sensors create an analog signal. So another important function of the input module to convert the analog signal into a digital signal. Microprocessor or CPU can deliver a very small amount of current, in few ma, at 5 volts DC as output. So we cannot drive the loads directly with the microprocessor. Here the output module solved this problem. Power supply. The power supply circuit provides the power supply to all devices such as CPU, memory, input module, and output module. Generally, the PLC works with up to 24 volts DC supply. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share.